today what I'm going to share will be a story that I'm pretty sure I never read anywhere. I never heard it. Uh, I think it's something that came up through contemplation for meditation. And I, but I use it a lot in many different situations in, for many years now, and it inspires me a lot too. So you're going to need to imagine something. Simply imagine that you are lungs, right? You are the lungs in the body, the one which breathe. One day, as you continue to breathe air, you hear the heart saying, oh, you know, pumping blood is amazing. Or you hear the digestive tract saying, oh, it's really cool to digest food. And you become envious. You start to think, man, you know, breathing air is boring. You know, there's nothing in it. There's no material in it. I need to pump blood or I need to digest food. As the lungs, you, you decide to do it. Now, the question is, what happens? And it's very clear, it's very obvious. You, the whole body starts to go down. Yes, you know, if the lungs are going to get filled with food and blood, this is not going to work. The more you're going to do it, the, the worse you're going to feel. What's interesting is that if you come back to breathing air again, it feels good. It feels good to you. It wouldn't feel good for the heart. It wouldn't feel good for the digestive tract. But it feels good to you. And maybe there is a thought, oh no, you know, I, sh I should do something else. Everybody else is doing something else. But then if you stick to what's meant for you, you feel good. And then the whole system feels good too. For the whole body, it's good. I, d I don't know if you already got the point. Probably you did. What I'm talking about is that the same situation applies to the current world or world in general. We are, in a sense, as uh, cells of the world. In these days, it's very common to be, to feel separate, to think that every man is for himself, we are all separate individuals, you need to fight your way through, you need to win against life, you need to fight against life, you need to fight against others. But then that already doesn't feel good. If we look back at the purpose, the reason of your being, the question is, what are you meant to do? If you are meant to breathe, or whatever, that would be a profession or an action, certain action purpose in your life, what we most, most of the times we do, we, l we try to listen to what others think is right for us. Somebody says, this gives a lot of money, you're going to be famous doing this, it's very safe to do this. And then instead of trying to listen into what life wants us to do as these cells of the whole system, we start to do things which are not ours, which is not uh, meant for us, and it starts to feel bad. And you know, so many people don't do what is actually meant for them to do and so many people suffer so many people feel bad so many people go to sleep feeling bad wake up bad and wait for the weekend and it's it's horrible it's almost like a disease but i think it's all based on that model that i spoke to you just before there's a certain purpose we all need to fulfill and we suck at it we don't listen into life we don't listen what's meant for us to do we rather take something outside of us which sounds good, sounds nice, and maybe it is good for someone else. Maybe it's good for someone else to be a lawyer, or a doctor, or a painter, or whatever. But if that's not our path, most likely, even if we become successful at it, we're going to suffer. What's important and what's interesting is that not only we are going to suffer, but the whole system is going to suffer. It's a dual relationship. It's going to go back and forth. So if we take that example, if you take that story, first of all, we can ask ourselves, okay, so what's my purpose? Why am I here? If I would be the lungs in the body, what am I here on this earth? What do I need to give to earth? What will I feel good doing? And what will benefit the whole? And yeah, we just need to become good at it. In future videos, we're going to talk about a lot of different things. How to be good at what you need to do, how to discover what you need to do. We're going to talk about a lot of different things, which I'm very passionate about. So far in my life, they're doing good. There's definitely things I want to share and I can share. For today, just try to feel into that story. That story helped me a lot of times. That story helped my students, my friends. So try to feel into that story and just ask yourself, okay, so what's your purpose here? And what do you need to process what will feel good to you and what will be good for the whole? What's your purpose? And, uh, and just try to feel how much crap we take from outside, we construct our whole lives about that notion instead of actually feeling what feels good. Because yeah, I think that's the horror of it all. Too often we go into these nightmares, we go, we live our lives based on some good notions, and it feels bad, but we keep looking not at how we feel, but we keep looking at the logic of it. We keep coming back to thinking, oh yeah, this is good because I'm getting money and people like me, people respect me, yada yada, my parents are happy for me, etc, etc. But we deny the most important part is that does it feel good? Do we provide something 
meaningful and uh, beneficial to others. And if not, then it just there's just no point. It's all a waste of time. We need to be very careful not to get stuck into that crap. So again, for today, think about that story and ask yourself, are you living based on someone else's ideas or are you living based on your ideas, your feelings, your, your inspiration? And what is it? What do you feel doing good and what will life be happy about you doing? I think it's one of the secrets, one of the key points of life. So yeah, we're going to wrap this up here. As always, looking forward to hear your comments. Write me down, let me know what you think about the story, let me know if you discover something, let me know if you have any questions, if you feel stuck in that story, or whatever comes up. Just let me know. I'm always happy to share and discuss. You know, YouTube is all about that. I subscribe to know when the next video comes out. These are going to go all out. Right now we have a lot of different topics written down. We're going to go through them all. And yeah, we're going to stop here right now today. Looking forward to hear from you. This was Rokas, and see you soon again. I have a single house with a single broken window and nobody uh, fixes it. After one day, two days, three days, some people will pass and they will see that this glass is broken and they will uh, get the impression that nobody cares. And so then eventually somebody will take a stone and break another glass.